The net begins with Undersecretary of Defense Michael Bergstrom committing suicide because he was just diagnosed with HIV. And he does so at the sight of the commemorative statue of the time I got stuck in a ball pit at Chuck E. Cheese. I'm no hero. I just really couldn't get out of that damn thing. Sandra Bullock plays Angela Bennett, a systems analyst who lives her life almost completely on the net. Ordering pizza on the net. Buying a plane ticket on the net. Oh god, chat rooms. <laughs> Gross, but possible on the net. Storing world-altering computer viruses on a floppy disk. I love that the 90s thought that the internet could literally do anything, but didn't know enough about it to not include a floppy disk as the main MacGuffin. <laughs> this internet technology is amazing, but surely the floppy disk will forever be useful. Angela's co-worker Dale sends her a floppy disk in the mail that helps set the whole plot into motion. Angela, FedEx ship software had you signing for that disk three minutes ago. What took you so long? Tracking packages in real time? The future is now! Hidden on the disk is a back door to the secure servers for a number of prominent websites. If, if someone gets a hold of that disk, they'd have an awful lot of power. <laughs> God bless you, 1990s. Never change. Dale wants to fly to Angela's to talk about the disc in person, but on the way his navigation system malfunctions and he crashes. A little trivia for the kids out there, in the 90s, laptops used to be two laptops held together by an old door hinge. Angela flies to Cozumel for vacation and meets fellow hacker Jack Devlin. And he is such a gentleman that when Angela says she's cold, instead of giving her his jacket, he wraps a napkin around her waist. It's called chivalry, kids. It's how we did things in the 90s. My purse! Oh yeah. Pero que, have el dinero. Oh no, he's a bad guy. Angela should know that when you surf the net, you're gonna have a tar- Oh my god, what is he doing? Oh, Angela is shaken up and would've completely believed you without cutting your hand. Oh god, and you could've gotten away with a superficial wound, it looks like you're cutting to the bone! Oh my god. Look, I suppose we ought to try and call up the, um, Cancun police on the ship to shore. Okay. It's not working. We have to head further out. Uh, if you need to reach someone on the shore, then why don't you just go to the shore right behind you? Is what Angela should be saying. Well, you can head out to Morocco for all I care. It's beautiful out here. Zero awareness. We have to go farther towards the middle of the ocean. Signal's way stronger out there. Angela puts on Devlin's coat and notices that he has a gun with a silencer, and I don't know, Angela. He's cute and all, but I don't think he's the one for you. She knocks him out and manages to escape in a dinghy with the disc and immediately crashes into some rocks. Probably because she was trying to reapply her makeup, am I right? <laughs> Be sure to catch this and many more of my hilarious and non-politically correct views on women by checking out my new comedy CD, Women Be Shopping. To make me a damn sandwich, Slant Magazine says, What the hell is this? This is a joke, right? <laughs> no, it's several jokes of varying quality. Rolling Stone Magazine raves, Wait, this is a current comedy album? <laughs> You're darn right it is. Order now while supplies last. Angela comes to three days later in the hospital and finds that the disc was ruined, and Angela Bennett appears to no longer exist, but that she is instead Ruth Marks. She makes it back home to find that her house is up for sale and that Ruth Marks has outstanding warrants. Did Devlin have to wait literal seconds before the cops ran a check before changing that? You should have already ran an overclock attack on the primary subnet of all routed IPs. Do you not spend much time on the net, bro? She contacts her psychiatrist, Dr. Alan Champion, played by the incomparable Dennis Miller. Why me? I am nobody. I am nothing. They knew what I drank. They knew what movies that I watched. And, 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 and everything they, they did, they must have watched on the, on the internet. I don't know. Watch my credit cards. The internet is so powerful, it makes Samson look like Hume Cronin after ripping up his punch card at Supercuts, babe. <laughs> totally. Angie, they've really gotten into your head with this. You're more mixed up than Julius and Ethel Rosenberg attending the Yakov Smirnoff show in Branson, Missouri, babe. Where does he come up with this stuff? The versatility of the internet is so preternatural that one can only assume that the human equivalent to the net would be Douglas Fairbanks in a look-alike contest with Boutros Boutros Ghali on holiday in Kreplakistan, babe. Haha. <laughs> uh, you kinda lost me on that one. Angela found the name of a website and a password for the back door to the Bethesda Naval Hospital site in Devlin's wallet. 
because all great hackers and the nation's mothers know the importance of writing down any and all passwords. She finds that Secretary Bergstrom did not have HIV and that someone hacked in to mess with the lab results. They then use the net to change Dr. Champion's prescription and almost kill him. But it's going to take more than that to bring down the champion, babe. He's got more lives than Sharaba after spending a weekend with Suzanne Summers after drawing up the prototype for the shake weight, babe. Angelo then goes to meet a weirdo that she met online for information, but she gets intercepted by Devlin and, oh, come on, you're going to shoot her? Pipe into the main T1 line and reconfigure the motherboard on that carousel and make it spin really fast while she flies right into your clutches. What's the matter, not a big computer guy? You know, the net was correct about all of our info being on the computer and them having access to it, but instead of changing hospital admissions and crashing planes, they used it to target me with ads for stand mixers nonstop for weeks, all because I bought one as a present. Guess what, internet? I don't need to buy any more stand mixers. I'm not opening a restaurant. I'm good, thanks. Angela sneaks into her old office to hack into the mainframe. Reroute the subnet 235. Access router table. Jeff. Save it all on... Oh man, again? Three and a half inch floppy disk. Upload the contents of floppy disk to electronic mail. Chase the white rabbit. Devlin catches up to her and doesn't realize that Angela uploaded a virus that wipes out the entire gatekeeper program. And I would assume all the evidence she needs to exonerate herself, but that's why they say hackers are rock stars of the internet. Alright, no one said that, but... No movie about the power of the internet would be complete without the main villain being defeated by... Getting brained with a fire extinguisher. You know, ordering pizza online is great and all, but nothing beats murdering your foe face to face with a blunt object. You know, real world shit. We all need to log off and make some real connections like Angela just did. Alright, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Distracted Nerd where you can get these videos uploaded to your brain frame every Thursday. And hold up, no, don't click on that! Old Mile High. So Dennis, new season, new stadium. Replacement officials, though. I thought they did a pretty good job yesterday. Pretty good job yesterday, but I was so nostalgic for the regular referees today. I logged on to Napster, downloaded a couple of Bernie Kukar's greatest illegal formation calls. The guy's a timeless artist. Obviously, he will be missed.